Hi, I'm Colleen Taylor. You're watching TechCrunch TV, and I'm in Hayward, California at the Viking showroom for Viking stoves. This is where Cook, Taste, Eat films its online clips. Cook, Taste, Eat is a new startup by celebrity chef Michael Mina, along with his business partner, Tanya Malillo. So we're going to go inside, take a look at what's cooking at Cook, Taste, Eat, and find out some more. So follow me. I'm Tanya Malillo, the CEO of Cook Taste Eat, and I'm so excited to have TechCrunch here with us on our shoot. Um, and I just wanted to show you around. We produce 365 culinary videos a year, which is a lot. <laughs> and um, our goal is to teach people how to cook. My co-founder is Michael Mina, which is amazing. Hi, Michael. <laughs> and um, he's an amazing partner and just an amazing chef. It's a dream to work with him, really. And so, but here is where we shoot. It's our kitchen. It's an amazing kitchen. I mean, honestly, this place was just perfect for us. This is where we do our photos. Once we cook something on the set over there, right, live video, we take it over here to get shot. I'm actually super excited because our photos this time around are better than they've ever been before. It's so amazing, right, in a startup seeing like where you started and where you go, and I feel like we're just getting started. It's like a reality show. So. This is our back kitchen. So much goes on here that, to be honest, if I even tried to tell you, they'd look at me like I was an idiot. No, that's right. So we film 40 recipes in a week. It's a lot. <laughs> They're all seriously tested beforehand at our office in our test kitchen. And then if you imagine everything you need to get, like the food wise, to get 40 recipes, often done five times, right? Because you need swap outs and things like that. They handle all of that, and they're amazing. Christina's our chef, she works with us every day. She used to work with Michael, and she's just like, amazing at how she's able to balance you know, the, the food side of it, as well as all the organization, um, providing all the inputs to our writer, all the knowledge. You know, she does Q and A's with us um, on Facebook and on Twitter. It's just, it's just amazing. Our whole culinary team is amazing. Hey, you're watching TechCrunch TV. I'm Colleen Taylor, and I'm standing here with the co-founders of Cook Taste Eat, Michael Mina, the chef, Hello. and Tanya Melillo. Thanks for having us in your lovely kitchen here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's actually Viking GSC's kitchen, and we would like to thank them for having <laughs> us in yeah. the lovely kitchen. Yeah, the Viking stoves don't mess around. So um, I want to ask, just to get started here, what is Cook Taste Eat? Tanya, what is Cook Taste Eat? <laughs> Tanya, tell us. Right. Cook Taste Eat is a digital culinary media network. And what that means is we produce culinary content, primarily video, and we distribute it digitally, right? And so if you think about um, the Food Network or PBS's cooking shows, you're probably very familiar with cooking shows. And what we wanted to do was shorten them and put them on the web for a younger food generation. And I wanted to ask you, Michael, as well, what kind of got you interested in working with something like this? We see a lot of big name celebrity chefs going to those ex established entities like the Food Network. Mm -hmm. We were doing some video work in our restaurants and, it, um, and we were thinking about, well, how could we utilize that? And what we realized was that we really needed to do something that was a little more focused for people at home, um, and, but, but elevating their cooking. And the model that Tanya came up with was this taking the dishes and breaking them down to four minute videos and really as a chef I think gives you the ability to to give people a little bit of that next level of cooking at home but because you're not watching the whole video at one time gives you as we call them bite-sized pieces and lets you get a little I think a better ability to grasp it. And who is the target audience here? Yeah, I mean, our target audience are people who really love food, right? And so you can think about it. it's people who shop at Whole Foods, right? It's people who want good ingredients, who want exciting new things to do with it. You know, I mean, one example is uh, the Bay Area and like the tech community is, you know, raves about food. They love food. They love finding new things. It's that kind of audience. You know, they're educated, they're smart, and they're interested in food, you know, the right way you can really break people down um, in two ways. People that eat to live and people that live to eat, right? Uh -huh. And, you know, I would say that we are, we are going after the people that live to eat. And 
you know, in that's why even the title, Cook, Taste, Eat, it's not just about cooking. I mean, cooking is a part of the show, um, but really it's about helping people understand how to taste and how to eat. And, you know, the tasting is such a big part of cooking. People that have been watching the videos tell me, you know, I might not cook that, but it's really interesting and I like to understand why I'm enjoying certain dishes. Is there something about the medium of video that really lends itself well to learning how to cook as opposed to, you know, traditional text recipes? Yeah, well, I think that it's a combination of the videos and then how Tanya and her team are laying out the tech side of the recipes and that, you know, and, and it really is that digital slash video cookbook, but there's some really fun um, ways that I think to help you to get through these recipes that the video is one component like when you get to the timeline video that's showing you how to time your dish and then there's a beautiful timeline laid out and I think that hand in hand they work really well together. And can you tell us a little bit more about the team that has built this, you know, talk a bit about the business side there? Um, I mean when we started it was just Michael and me for a while um, and what I did was I uh, begged and pleaded and got an outsourced company to help us build the prototype. Um, and that prototype is what helped us raise money. I want to go back to the investor side because it's sure. tech crunch and we care a lot about that sure. kind of aspect. Mm -hmm. What's the funding situation here? Yeah, so <coughs> we raised um, a seed round from some really amazing investors, Bloomberg Capital, Michael Deering, SV Angel, Kosla, and Triple Point. And we're really thankful that you know they believed in what we were doing. When I met Michael, one of the reasons I think <coughs> I was really drawn to working with him is he's an entrepreneur at his heart, right? I mean, that's how he's built the amazing company he's built. And how does running a startup like this compare with building the restaurant empire that you have? Um, well, you know, it's all about the people. And, you know, every people will say that all the time about every industry. But you know what? There's a reason everybody says it because it's true. When you have the right people in charge of projects like this, um, it's the same as having the right chef and the right general manager in a restaurant. Um, you know, 18 restaurants, one of them can cause as many problems as the other 17 <laughs> if you don't have the right chef and the right general manager. And with Tanya, the team that Tanya just talked about and Tanya heading it up makes, you know, it makes me be able to do the piece that I really like, which is the creative piece of coming up with what we want to do with dishes and this and that. And, um, you know, and so it's really, it's like, it's extremely enjoyable, and it is fun always to do startups. I mean, the the idea of a startup, every restaurant you build is a startup, and so you know you think that you know so much, and you go build another restaurant, and you realize that oh my God, here we go again, you know, and, and so this is fun. Yeah. Is there anything in particular that you think that chefs or the world of cooking, you know, that that you learn from that world that translates well into the technology or business world? Um, well, I, I actually think that there there is a lot. I mean, at the end of the day, you your your goal is to please people on both sides. You know, it's like the more pe the more you please somebody, the more they get connected with what you're doing. And so, I think that it's important to um, try to be as try to give people real information that that's tangible that they can use. Just like when they come to your restaurant, you want them. I want people to connect with the food. I want them to connect with the experience. I think that it's very similar. The connection is what you're doing. That's what you're going after. Yeah. You know, uh, one of the things that I've really seen how Michael approaches his business, you know, the people are at the core, as he said, and um, making sure that, um, you know, that the team is happy and that everyone you work with is happy. And so I've really taken a big part of that and just, you know, the relationships that I have built and continue to build growing this company are so important, you know? And so when we're on set with this entire team, it's like, it's the team that's making this work, right? I mean, we are not, right, we can't build this, what we're trying to do without everyone. And so just taking care of them and, you know, figuring out what makes people tick, it's just so important. And I see Michael do that all the time with his restaurants and it's, it's been good learning for me. And what can we look for next out of Cook Tasty? We think that the world of premium content online is just just beginning to break, you know, and we want to be at the forefront of the culinary premium content online. What's great about it now that we're, you know, a few months into it is now 
one of Tanya's big focuses, I can see it now every time we're filming, she's making me ask, you know, <laughs> and, and it's great, is the feedback. You know, I mean, I think any successful startup has to really focus on that. And I think that that over the next, you know, year is something that's really going to help to shape Cook Taste Eat is to really get that feedback and try to use it. Sounds good. Um, Cook Taste Eat. Thank you so much thank you. for having thank us you. here. Thank you. Thank you.